that you love God and hate your brother. That's the Bible. Amen? We can't have unforgiveness in our life and say that we praise and worship and know that we love God because you can't hate your brother and love God. You, you can't serve two masters. Amen. Only one. Amen. Amen. You'll either be a servant of sin or a servant of God. It's the only two choices. Amen. There is no middle ground. That's, that's what I always liked about God. That was something that in parenting that, you know, that I never had to question. I could ask my mom or dad or question and they were there, there was never any middle ground. It was either yes or no. Amen. And that's the same thing I've done with my kids. And you can ask Kimberly, my oldest, she can say that's one thing about Josh is that if you if I ever ask him something, there was never any gray area. With God, there's never any gray area. Amen. With God, there's never any gray area. He said it's either light or it's dark. There's light or there's dark. There's no in between. There's either light or there's darkness. In your life tonight, God said that it's time to be a separate people. More so now than ever. Uh, because of the time that we live. I seen today that is Israeli the Israeli army shot down a Russian plane yesterday. The Russians aren't very excited about it. They're pretty upset. They, all they're looking for is an excuse. Amen to start something with Israel, to give them an excuse to go in. And I know that we're living late, late, late in time, and that we need to be prepared for Jesus to return. He is the soon coming King, and He is on His way. Amen. So if you would stand with me tonight, I hope you've been encouraged. I hope that God has lifted you up tonight. I hope that you're excited and looking forward to what God has in our life or for you in your life when we begin to live a separated life. A separated life. I'm going to tell you that I, I, I was... I went and seen an old friend of mine Monday. I hadn't seen him in a, quite a few years, I guess. And uh, he told, him, told me a funny story that he said that, you know, he's at a baseball field, and I'm pretty commonly known around a baseball field or a football field at any given time. And I hadn't seen him in a long time. It's been a few years. And when me and him hung around together, I'm not talking about just hung around together for probably three or four years. Me and him were together every day, every, every, every opportunity. I mean, we, just, we were pretty much inseparable all the time. Up until I accepted Christ and God kind of separated us because I had to be different. And He wasn't ready to be different. But He said the other day that it's funny how God will open doors for you to talk to people. And He said that He'd been looking for me. And He thought He'd run into a guy that He said that He said He's at a baseball field and said that he was walking down through there and he said from behind this guy looked just like me <laughs> he said and I took off running he said and I jumped on his back <laughs> he said when I about took him to the ground I come around he said and I noticed that that wasn't you <laughs> he said the look on that guy's face he said was just unreal he said he thought he was had <laughs> He said, I just looked at him and said, man, I thought you was somebody else. But he was super excited to see me because he's looking for the light. And we are that light. Amen. I really think I made his day by showing up at his barber shop the other day. He was super excited to see me. He hadn't seen me in a long time. Me and him in a long time. I still pray for him and pray that God allows me to Say something to him one day that'll change his mind. He's, he kind of reminds me of King Agrippa. He said, you've almost persuaded me to be a Christian. 
Tonight I hope you're fully persuaded to follow Jesus. Because you're not going to make it if you're not fully persuaded. If you're not fully persuaded that you'll be drug off and you'll fall for any little trick of the devil. But I hope tonight that God has spoke to you about being a separate people and that you can't live your life. I can't live my life the way that I used to. Amen? I can't live my life with one foot on a banana peel and one on in the grave. I can't live my life seeing how close to hell I can live and make it to heaven. I've got to be separated from the world in every aspect. Because there are going to be thousands of people and thousands of people that will have believed a lie and will miss heaven. If you come to this church, I hope that, I pray that you never hear anything but truth. I know you won't, coming from me or coming from Marcus or Gillis or anybody else that stands in this pulpit, they'll, they'll pre- Brother Tony, he'll preach truth. You might not like it, it might upset. Hey, Brother Tony talked about writing those things before they ever happened. How many of us do that? Hey Amen. We, we write it out before it ever, you know. And, and that's what he was talking about. You know, uh, what, what kind of, you know, we, we, we write our own story. Before God, God has the final say in our lives. We don't. Amen. Amen. So allow God to be God. And be ye a separate people tonight. Amen. Amen. Be a separate people. Christian, you want to come and get a song and we'll worship God. Amen. One more time. And before we go home. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee, zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, please join us again next time for our broadcast.